Hey guys, I want to show you this really quick and really easy way to convert your low poly meshes to high poly. Um, yeah, I think this is like the meta really. It's so good, easy, fast and non-destructive. <clears throat> it's the way to go. So say in Blender you have a mesh. I've created this mesh here in hard ops and box cutter. I've tried to do as many kind of like variety of shapes in here just to show you how good this is. And what you have to do is first thing so like I said I, I don't care about the geometry here at all this is going to be my low poly it's got no this is not for animation or anything so there's no need to worry about how clean the topology is or if there's quads or anything like that so okay let's crack on so the first things first I will add a subdivision surface so if I add a modifier go subdivision surface great as you can see this looks absolutely awful so we what we want to do is we want to make sure we have use creases is on and then we hide this now i'm going to select the edges and i'm going to basically crease these edges and it's going to that's it's going to keep the the form of of this mesh so let me show you so if i go into my edge mode instead of manually clicking on all of these different edges i'll do a quicker way so i'll go to and sorry select sharp edges it's on 40 degrees let me put it on 30 degrees let me go around and check it and you can you can play with this slider you know determine on on your mesh but for me it's just a good base to start with so yeah let's just go 30. i don't want these lines selected so i'll remove these great so i have all the edges selected that i need to select now what I can do is I can go to my crease, I can select and your crease will be here in the item. If you can't see this, press N, bring up the toolbar item, crease, make sure you set it to one. Now you can see these, these lines on my theme green to show you that these are creased. If I now reactivate the subdivision, okay, it's starting to look at the shape is starting to be kind of, um, conform to so now what we need to do is we need to fix these random artifacts here and that's really simple all you need to do is go to your vertex and just basically not care about your geometry just connect things connect um, so if I select this connect connect so I'm just connecting these two I'm using shortcuts with hops which is two mesh machine not sure which one does it but yep two so that's fixed that we have some artifacts here so what we can do is we can select this just the trick is not to really care too much about the the geometry add a loop cut there add another loop cut add a loop cut here bring it in a bit add one more great let's find some more artifacts here connect as you can see here we've got loads so all we need to do is simply connect you guessed it connect as you can see the shape is starting to to get how it should be connect sometimes you have this so again just add another edge loop you don't even need to worry about how clean this is at all this is just going to be for baking so it's a high poly and don't don't worry about the topography so click that i'm just going through connecting clearing up all this crap there's no i i literally do not care about this uh geo at all so you don't need to worry about anything now that's the great thing about this so like connect add another loop cut here and a loop cut here add one more we have some artifacts here so what we can do select this corner set some there connect 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 why not connect um, I think that looks good for artifacts no we have one here so again we just go to connect um yeah 
yeah, we have one down here. Let's just connect this and a loop cart here. And a loop cut there and one more here and that should be all the artifacts cleaned up let's have a quick skim through looks good looks good okay so now what we want to do now that we have we've done that we can come in add a modifier add the remesh modifier bring the remesh voxel size on voxel down to 0 0.002. You can play with this. Be careful not to go too low. It will crash your computer. But for this demonstration, to be honest, that's maybe even too high. So I'll go to 0 0.004. OK, great. And now what I can do, I come in, add another modifier, which is the smooth corrective. With smooth corrective, make sure you click only smooth. Select your repeat, put in 150. And there we go. And then you can just bake this out, right? You can squash this down and then bake it out, export it, bake it out, and there's your high poly. Um, if we change the material, just to have a look at it. I go here. And then the great thing is you can come into your modifiers. This is all non-destructive, right? So like you can decide actually maybe not 150, maybe 100. And just start to play with these sliders to kind of dial back the the bandwidth um, the bevel here. Sorry. It sometimes it kind of like on some of these edges, like you see, it you have this, and what happens here if you look at a geo, you have these sort of little artifacts. What you can do is you can come into your remesh and change this. Let's change this to 0 0.3. And it shouldn't, when you bake it out, it should all be perfect. In all my experiments baking this out, I never see any of these artifacts. And it's, it's just a really nice way to, to easily make your high poly mesh. Yeah, thanks. Hope you enjoy. Take care, guys. Bye.